Hurricane Milton on its way now out to the Atlantic Ocean. And now, as we just heard from Governor Ron DeSantis, rescue efforts underway. More than 3 million homes are currently left without power across the state. Crews already working to restore electricity to as many people as possible. But as the sun comes up, now we're starting to see the massive devastation left behind. So much flooding, countless downed trees, tornadoes that broke out yesterday. We now know have claimed the lives of four people. But again, that number could rise as they start to get into those neighborhoods that were hardest hit. So joining us now for more on this, Lieutenant Governor of Florida, Jeanette Nunez. Mrs. Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much for joining us. Um, thanks for taking the time. So we just heard, obviously, from Governor DeSantis with that morning update. What else can you tell us about those areas hardest hit? Well, as you saw the hurricane barreling across our state, I think um, the most significant thing was the the breadth and the depth of the storm, really, as you saw it go across, cut across the state. Both coasts have seen impact, tremendous amount of impact, the enormous amount of tornadoes, the tornadic activity that we had yesterday. All of that really combined into just a powerful storm with the storm surge, the heavy winds, the heavy rain. And so we're, of course, our priority is search and rescue. That's been ongoing. It started in the in the early morning hours, and, and that has been uh, nonstop focused. Preserving life is always our number one priority. And uh, then, of course, power restoration, the process of rebuilding. Uh, we're actively working. We mobilized the largest number of National Guardsmen in the history of our state. We have a tremendous amount of linemen that are out there actively restoring power as we speak. Uh, over 3 million people without power, and we've already restored power to more than 630,000 individuals. So um, lots of work to be done, but under the governor's leadership, I, I have no doubt that we'll do we'll get through this and we'll help people rebuild and get back up on their feet. We've been seeing some of the images here from the destruction. Tropicana Field in P St. Petersburg, home of the Tampa Bay Rays. The roof absolutely ripped off. Uh, the drone images that we got to see were th there's a lot of destruction from above and inside. I, I know that some of the first responders were there. National Guard, they were stationed there. It was sort of a, a base for them. Uh, what's going to happen there? Is there a plan to move them or put them somewhere else that uh, outside of Tropicana Field? Yeah, they had already been um, they had already been moved, so they weren't there when that was occurring. Um, thankfully, because of the storm track and because of all of the preparation, we made sure to stage them elsewhere. Um, so no concern on that front. Um, we're always uh, paying a close attention to the impact of the storm. And again, it was so far reaching. We understood that the implications were going to be pretty significant. But all, all in all, I would say um, we're fortunate that it weakened. We're fortunate that some of those uh, storm surge predictions did not reach the numbers that they were talking about. That would have been deadly and catastrophic. Um, but we are going to analyze and see what the impact has been on the West Coast. I know the governor was doing his press conference. I'm sure um, he'll be out and about as soon as it's safe for him to do so, as will I. And, and we'll continue to focus on what the immediate needs are and then, of course, the long-term recovery. Yeah, we know that you guys did everything you could to prepare mm -hmm. for this storm ahead of time. Are enough resources being provided currently or will you need more assistance from the government as rescue efforts continue? Well, we have everything we need right now. Again, the governor's leadership, working with our Division of Emergency Management, National Guard, linemen, um, our Department of Transportation, they're already clearing roads, inspecting bridges, making sure that they're safe. Uh, but all of those um, are for the immediate focus. And then, of course, long-term recovery efforts. Um, we will continue to work with our partners at FEMA and make sure that individuals have the assistance that they need and that they're due, um, and making sure that we can help them. As many people have lost their homes, their livelihoods, um, and so our, our focus is going to be helping those Floridians as yeah. they get back. And just real quickly, the, the, the governor mentioned, too, that to avoid going into the floodwaters, uh, if, if they have to get in wading into the waters, mm -hmm. there could be bacteria in there. There could be debris. There could be dangerous animals as well. We saw at one point an alligator was in the waters. Uh, what's your message to people that want to get home? Absolutely. I know everyone's desperate to go home and check out if they had uh, if they had damage and start the process of cleaning. But that is not it's not the time to do that now. We want to make sure people are safe. If you're in a shelter, please stay there. Make sure that you're waiting to get those local orders that it's all clear for you to go back home because many of the fatalities tragically occur post storm. Right. Um, yeah. People right. drive through waters, like you said, down power lines and all sorts of hazards. So we want people to be uh, cautious as they return home and yeah. follow local orders.